The cutaway cards for the Cricut Joy open up a ton of options for card making, removing the insert card's need for stencil-style designs and removing the need for glue or other adhesives. So it makes a lot of sense that people are wondering how to use them on the Maker and Explore family of machines. I've created this video and a free project in Design Space to show you the steps to getting centered cutaway cards on the other machines using any device. It doesn't require any special tools, even though it'll look like you need a scoring tool. My name is Ruth. This is Hank's Maker Mentor. Let's jump in and I'll show you how it works. Here on the homepage of Design Space, in the universal search bar, go ahead and type in Hank's Maker Mentor. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see community members. Go ahead and click on this one and you'll see the project right here. You can also look in the links of this video. I've included it there as well. Click on it and select edit a copy. I suggest clicking save then save as right away so you don't lose your work. This is based on the Cricut Joy Design Setup project that only shows when you have the Cricut Joy selected as your machine. I've taken the information and transformed it into this project. In the Layers panel, it has one attached layer that has cut, draw, and score layers, as well as a lone score line that is difficult to see with the attached layer. This is on purpose. The gray cut layer is the back of the card. This area inside the scored rectangle is the area you have to design. It's about 3.75 inches by 5 inches. These small score lines are to help you line up your design in the center of the card. You can insert text or images and have them draw or cut. You also have the option of foil if you're using design space for desktop. I'm going to keep this design very simple. Type in some text and position it in the center of the design area. With the design ready, we'll move back to the layers panel to hide the attached layer that came in when we opened the project. We want the score line and the parts of the design still showing on the canvas. In this case, the score line and my text to cut. The score line is there to help you line up your design without having to guess based on the matte grid. You won't actually use any scoring tool. Click on the canvas and drag to select all the layers that are visible. Then select attach in the bottom of the layers panel. If you haven't saved recently, now's a good time to do it before you click make it. On the preview screen, I'm going to move my score line so it starts at 1 1 on the grid. This will make sense when we place our card on the mat. It should say score and basic cut. It might also say foil and pen if you've added those to your design. With the design in place, I click continue. I had done some test cuts on another card earlier and I thought that the heavy card stock with more pressure was the correct setting to use. So that's what I used on this one. In further tests, I was happier with the craft board setting and default pressure. You need to do test cuts to make sure the setting you choose works with your machine, blade, card, and design space. If you have a Maker or Maker 3, after you've selected your material, look for the Edit Tools option here next to where it says Tools and Materials. Click on it and change the score tool from the scoring wheel to the stylus. The Maker machines check to ensure that the correct tip is being used if you have it set for the scoring wheel or double scoring wheel. It doesn't check for the stylus, so we trick the machine a little to help us get things lined up. Let's take a look at the process to get the card ready. I'm using a cutaway card from the Marina Sampler. You'll need a light grip mat, a cutaway card, a backer, your fine point blade and weeding tool, possibly pens or the foil and the foil transfer tool if that's what you selected. You'll take your card and remove the liner to expose the adhesive. The liner is very thin so you don't need to poke deep to do it. I use my pin pen weeding tool to start it and then pull the rest away. You'll take the backer and apply it, shiny side facing the adhesive. I use the card spine to help me line it up before pressing it down. The brayer is useful here, but not necessary. After the backer is firmly applied to the card, it's time to place it on the mat. I align the top left corner of my card at the 1-1 mark on the grid. This is why I position the score line where I did on the preview. This allows my design and card to be lined up without worrying about the margin around the edge of the mat 
that the Cricut can't cut. Time to load the mat into the machine and click go. It took a while for me to weed this. I weeded it on the mat, hoping that it would make the process easier since these cards are still difficult for me to weed. Proper cut settings make a big difference. This is what it looked like when I finished the project using my Cricut Maker. To make sure that the Explore Air 2 would be able to do the same, I added these hearts to test cut settings, which is where I decided that the craft board setting is gonna be my starting point because it weeded easier and it didn't show through the back as much. I hope this video and the project and design space help you to be able to create the cutaway cards you'd like on your Maker or Explore machines. If you wanna see more about the cutaway cards, check out this video right here. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, Bye.